This week's Ask Dr. Dury comes from a patient who has been having a lot of side effects using maintenance therapy, in this case with lenalidomide or Revlimid. Uh, and the question really is, uh, is it uh, safe to stop ongoing maintenance? Uh, this particular gentleman ha had been, uh, has been doing quite well, uh, had therapy with Valcade, Revlimid, and Dex, uh, an autologous uh, stem cell transplant, uh, and has been taking uh, lenalidomide maintenance for about 18 months now. And so he's doing well and is actually in a complete remission. And so what are the pros and cons uh, to uh, continuing uh, versus uh, stopping? Well, well, clearly, uh, this is a very, very reasonable uh, question. Uh, the advantages of continuing are that we do know that ongoing maintenance does seem to enhance the length of the remission. And so there is a natural anxiety for a patient to want to try to stay on to the maintenance uh, therapy for as long as possible. Uh, there is also the option to reduce the dose of Revlimid and change the scheduling from perhaps two weeks on to two weeks off versus three weeks on and one week off. Uh, the dose can be reduced down to as low as five milligrams uh, uh, so that uh, the side effects uh, can be significantly reduced. Various uh, side effects uh, are uh, problematic. If the white count is reduced, uh, this patient had actually had a couple of episodes of infection, including one episode of pneumonia. And so reduction to improve the white count uh, can, can be feasible and, and, and can often be enough to allow continuation of the treatment. If there has been a problem with diarrhea, as I've discussed in uh, another blog, uh, we do have therapies that can help uh, to manage with that. The uh, kind of negatives about stopping are uh, we, we really uh, don't know the impact of stopping. Uh, we, we don't know what is the ideal length. At 18 months, there probably has been an excellent benefit. Uh, would the maximum benefit be two years or three years? Uh, we don't really know. So that there are some important uh, uncertainties at this point. Another big question has been if you're in complete remission and MRD, minimal residual disease testing, is done and shows an undetected or negative result, is it then safe uh, to stop the, the lenalidomide? Again, unfortunately, we don't have data on that. And so th the bottom line is that this is really an important, important issue to discuss carefully with your doctor and go through uh, the pros and the cons, uh, because there are several of each. Uh, but from the patient perspective, if the side effects are really impacting your quality of life, you just need to know that it can be safe to stop. And if you are off therapy, uh, one of the advantages is that you know you uh, are reducing drug exposure and potentially uh, reducing the ongoing risk of some degree of, of drug resistance. And so it is feasible to stop, monitor closely, and then restart the drug uh, with an expectation that the, the treatment will again uh, work well. And so uh, the, the, there is this option that is uh, something to talk about uh, carefully with your doctor, which is the, the bottom line recommendation in this case. Uh, be aware of the possibility, think about the quality of life, and uh, review the options uh, and make a decision.